much. Uh, now, let's talk about this, Secretary. You spent the day here in Los Angeles at the port. You were talking about uh, inflation, uh, the Inflation Reduction Act and the Infrastructure Bill. What can you tell us about these, uh, which sound very exciting bills? Very what do we need to know? Yeah, so the important thing about the Inflation Reduction Act, well, there are several, but the biggest thing is it's going to make a lot of things more affordable, health care, electric vehicles, and it's going to lead to cleaner air, and it's going to help us fight climate change. Uh, the exciting thing about the infrastructure law is it's letting us improve infrastructure in every part of the country. So uh, today, for example, we were at the Port of Los Angeles. There's this area where the, the railroad is, is, is in a loop, and trucks have to cross the railroad, but there's only one narrow spot where they can do it and in order to get to where some of the containers are. We're going to fund them to build a bridge over that, that uh, uh, railroad, and the result is it will save 2,500 truck hours per day of waiting. And what that means, even if you don't think a lot about ports, is uh, it means that it will be quicker and more efficient and less expensive for you to get the goods that, that you need. It's improving our supply chain. So it's just one example of the things that we're doing in, in every part of the country, from fixing streets to, and bridges to airports to ports like where we were this morning. So when do you think that we might see the, that that might come into fruition? When will that, when will that happen? So it, it's beginning now, I and mean, mm. we're already seeing some of the projects underway. Some of them are going to take a long time. I mean, building a new airport terminal, placing a big bridge. Uh, but other things, uh, streetscape improvements that are going to make it safer to cross the street, introducing bike lanes, some of those things, I think, are, are going to materialize very quickly. Well, we thank you for you. are doing the most brilliant job. Truly, you are. Thank you so much. Now, Simone, let's talk about this. There's a lot going on. Yes. You got engaged earlier this year. When did you know... When did you know that Jonathan, your fiancé, yeah. when did you know he was the one? So our first date since COVID had just kind of happened. All the restaurants were um, kind of shut down, but we also didn't want to go to a restaurant just in case anybody spotted us and then all that stuff. But um, I went over to his apartment and he has a bulldog and his bulldog just went absolutely like nuts, was like whimpering, crying, started peeing everywhere. And I, he was like, well, he probably likes you, I guess. And we just kind of brushed that off. And then we uh, had like some wine, we played some games. But ever since then, I just like, his dog picked me, then he had to pick me, and then that's why I'm here. That was it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and they say knew. romance is dead. Yeah. But all Everybody it took was a dog that. to pee on the floor. Hey, and you just knew. How are, how are the wedding plans going? Good. Yeah, what are we doing? What's yeah. the plan? Are we ready for a bachelorette party? What's yes. Talk me through everything. Yes, uh, I have an amazing wedding planner, but besides that, bachelor, bachelorette parties are being planned. Everything is on time. I probably am almost too ahead of wedding stuff right now. Um, I was here in LA trying on some of my dresses and stuff, so that oh. was super exciting. Um, what else? Are you going to do any acrobatics as you walk oh, down the no. aisle? No, no. <laughs> Why not? Because I feel like if I had oh, your yeah. ability, I'd walk down with the flowers <laughs> and then I'd just bang, 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 <laughs> stack the landing <laughs> yeah, and be I like, that's what you've got. No? Heels, the veil, the, the train. Look, I think Jonathan I'm not trained wants for it. That. I'm just saying. Well, are you training for anything? This is the question. Yeah. Let's talk Paris 2024. <laughs> I mean, where are we at? Are we in? Are we out? Where, what does your heart say? Do you think you'll be there competing? <laughs> What do you think? Yeah. Well, I Yeah, think... there you go. No. Oh, no. Oh, sorry. I jumped Well, on. I think right now I still have to heal like mentally and physically. Mm. So I will be in Paris. Um, I just don't know at what role if that is an athlete or an audience member. Um, so we'll just have to see. We were talking, I don't know if you saw at the top of the show, that we feel at the Olympics yeah. you should have a nor like a regular normal person should yes. be chosen by every country yes. to do that sport before the professionals do it, just to show how hard it is. I think but you I have to do it that. in your normal clothes. Well, that's fine. Eating like potato chips on the couch. Yeah. They always judge us, and that's what they're doing. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> See, so someone should, <laughs> and you shouldn't have to know. I mean, secretary, but people said, would you do this if someone said, oh. You're up next for the javelin. Up you go. Would you do it? No, but I'd watch somebody do it. Yeah, exactly. I think it's a, a rating. No, I think it's a good smash. idea. We're going to discuss this more. We'll be right yeah. back, everybody. I do actually think it's a good idea.